Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up OBS in order to stream to Twitch. So assuming that you've already got a scene set up with one or more sources, and your microphone's good to go, you can go up to the file menu, go to settings. And in settings we want to drop down to the stream tab so that we can set up a stream key for Twitch. So with service selected, change it from whatever it's currently set to, to Twitch TV. And you'll see two options here, connect account and use stream key. So connect account is the modern version and we'll get into that in a second but if you want to use the classic way of just copy and pasting your stream key in you can use the use stream key button so when you do that you can have it automatically select a server or you can choose one from the list obviously you're going to want to pick one that's close to your current location auto recommended is probably going to be the way to go because it'll always pick the fastest server for you and then you need to paste in a stream key so this will usually be found on your twitch dashboard but they've also added in a link here that you can see next to stream key. So in OBS, just click on the link button and then that'll get you even closer on the Twitch TV username dashboard settings page. So you can see the primary stream key here. You're going to want to copy that. So I'll just hit the copy button, which will copy it to your computer's clipboard. And now if we alt tab back into OBS, we can simply delete whatever is in the stream key, control V to paste it in and hit apply. So once you've done that, hit OK, and you can hit the Start Streaming button. So in order to verify that whatever you are streaming to Twitch is actually being received, you can start by looking at your information down here. Make sure that it says Live with the timestamp, that it has a green box over here, and that it has a kilobit per second bit rate over to the right. And then you'll also want to check your streaming page and make sure that it's actually receiving the data so that people can receive it on the Twitch end. So in your dashboard, click on the live link, and then that will show you what your viewers are currently seeing. So you can see here, I have the OBS logo being broadcast over to the live video preview over there. And if I unmute it, uh, I should be able to hear myself any, talking sorry. because, uh, well, obviously the microphone's being recorded as well. So that's how you can make sure that whatever you are sending over to Twitch is being received properly. You can also see your stream health over here in the bottom left. So generally you would want this to stay consistent. If you see it dipping a lot, then you may be trying to set your stream bit rate too high for your internet connection. And another place that you can see that kind of being reflected where your stream health has having issues is with that green box over there. So if it's green, that means that your bit rate is staying pretty consistent and it's not having spikes or drops. Also your dropped frames should be at zero or as close to zero as possible. And that's going to be the old school way of connecting to Twitch for streaming. So let's stop the stream there for right now and go up to file and settings once again. So they have the new authentication method over on the stream tab, which is the connect account button. I believe they do this using open authentication 2 or OAuth 2. So if you click on that, you'll get an authentication pop up window which will require you to put in your username and password for Twitch. So you can just put that in and if you have two-factor authentication set up on your Twitch account, which is a good idea for extra account security, then you can go into your Authy mobile app or get the SMS text, which will have this six or seven digit code. So in this case, I'll just type that in here. You can check remember this computer for 30 days so that you don't have to re-put this in on this specific computer. Also, you can receive this code as an SMS text message if you have your Twitch account linked to a phone as well. So a couple ways of doing two-factor authentication there. When you're done, just hit verify token and it will authenticate with Twitch automatically. So one checkbox that will pop up here when you have your account directly connected is enable bandwidth test mode. I'm sure that there's this setting over on the Twitch dashboard page as well, but if you enable bandwidth test mode and you hit apply, then what will happen if you hit start streaming is that you will not actually broadcast the information live to viewers on Twitch, but it will only send the information to the Twitch servers for the purpose of making sure that your connection is good. You can also see that since we authenticated with the Twitch account rather than just copy and pasting a stream key in, that we actually get these extra windows, which are more or less the same things you find on the Twitch dashboard, except now they're in OBS. So you can control information like the title of your stream, what category your game is in. You can interact with the chat straight from within OBS. You can also snap these windows to corners of the screen. So if you want this to be over on the left, but as part of the main window, you can drop that in there. Or you can take these outwards, uh, put them on different monitors if you have them, that kind of thing. Uh, hit start streaming if you want to do the bandwidth test. 
As long as you have that bandwidth test mode checked, it will give you a little alert here saying that no one's gonna be able to see the stream. And then when you start streaming in bandwidth test, you can see the information in the bottom right in exactly the same way as before. But if you want to actually turn it into a real live stream, just go back up to file settings, then go down to stream and then uncheck enable bandwidth test mode. But you have to actually stop the stream in order to do that first. So stop stream, file settings, uncheck enable bandwidth test mode, hit apply. And now if you start streaming, it should once again start streaming to Twitch live. So once again, we can see that by hitting the start streaming button, going to the live dashboard and just waiting for the live information to appear there, which appears pretty quick by the looks of things. So that's pretty much it for how you set up OBS to stream to Twitch, at least at the basic level of connecting to the Twitch service. So I hope that this tutorial was really clear for you guys. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.